Hey guys, I'm Lal and welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to show you a real quick way how to install Kali 2021.4 on Windows in VirtualBox. Without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's get started. So first things first, you will need to go through to the Kali website to the download section. And once you're there, you can click on the official Linux VMware and VirtualBox images link. And once it's loaded, you will see options um, to be able to download the desired version for VirtualBox. Um, in my case, I'm gonna be using VirtualBox, the 64-bit version of that. You'll simply click on it and it will download the file to your computer for you. So once the file has downloaded onto your computer, you will need to extract it using 7-zip. For the sake of this video, I'll assume you guys have already installed 7-zip on your, on your machine. If you haven't, I'll drop the links into the description box below. Once you have 7-zip installed, you'll need to right click on the, on the file and say show more options. If you're using Windows 11, this might vary if you're using Windows 10. Once you've selected that, you'll go down to 7-zip and you'll extract the file to the machine. A dialog box will pop up, it'll take a couple of seconds and the file will, ex will extract. So once 7-zip has completed extracting the file for you, it'll be placed in a folder like you can see on my screen. You'll click on it and you'll see there'll be an open virtualization format archive folder in there, which we'll use in the next step when we get into VirtualBox. So moving over to VirtualBox, I assume that you'll have this already installed on your machine like I have. If you haven't, I'll drop a link in the, in the description box below for you and you can download and install it. It's pretty it's a pretty straightforward process. So once you have VirtualBox installed, open it up and you'll see something similar to what I'm showing on my screen. To import the Kali Linux image, which we just downloaded, you'll click on tools above and you'll go to the import section. So once you've clicked the import button, you will see a menu option pop up. And in there, you'll be able to select the file location of where we extracted the Kali OVF, the open virtual format archive folder in the previous step. You'll select the little green arrow and folder button and it will display a dialog box. Navigate to the folder where you have extracted your OVF file and you'll click on it and say open. VirtualBox will then display an appliance setting menu like you can see over here. And from there, the only thing I would change at this stage is perhaps the machine base folder. That's where you will be installing the, the actual virtual machine image. If you're happy with all these settings, you simply click import. A software license agreement prompt will appear. You can click on agree and once you've done that you will notice that the appliance will begin to import into your version of VirtualBox. Usually the import will take less than a minute in my case but your mileage may vary and once the installation is done you'll see that the new edition of Kali Linux 2021.4 will be included into your list of virtual machines to the left. The next step is optional, but it's recommended that you go into the settings, like you see on my screen, and select system. Over here, you can set your base memory to at least four gigs, I would recommend. Uh, if you have the resources on your machine, possibly even eight. If you click on the processor tab, 
generally I like a minimum of two processes, two virtual processes when using this, but the choice is yours. It all depends on how quickly you want to get things done within the operating system. In the display settings, make sure that your video memory is set to 128 megabytes and that you have enabled 3D acceleration. In the general settings menu option, make sure that your shared clipboard is bi-directional and your drag and drop is bi-directional. This will make sure that you can easily copy paste between your Windows host machine and your Kali guest machine. If you need to make any changes to the network setup of your Kali virtual machine, you can do so in the network tab. For the sake of this video, I'll just be leaving mine as NAT for now. So once all your settings have been configured, the next step is the fun part. We can now start up the virtual machine. You'll simply select the virtual machine that you've just installed and you'll click start. And you'll see Kali will begin to install. And after about 20 seconds, Kali will boot up and prompt you with a default login screen. You can log into Kali using the default username Kali and the password is Kali. And once you've logged in, your fresh new version of Kali will be ready for whatever you need it to do. I hope this video has been helpful to you and if you like it please don't forget to subscribe and give my channel a thumbs up uh, just to let me know that um, I am being of help to somebody out there uh, it would be greatly appreciated I'll see you guys soon cheers for now